Hey, it's your boy UAG back in the building with another video. And in this one, we're going to show you how to get Pinball Emporium installed on your Ad Games Legends Pinball. A lot of people have been having some issues, but your boy is going to help you out here to make sure you're up and running. Now, if these kind of videos interest you, the first thing you should do is give me a thumbs up because every boy needs it. Let's get this out to the masses. Second, subscribe to the channel. Videos like this are always coming out on the channel, so you want to be stay tuned. And hit that bell notification so when it comes out, you'll be on, okay? So let's get into it right after this. <laughs> So, here we go. You're gonna, the first thing we're going to need to do is get the files. Um, I'll have a link down below where you can obtain them. Also, there will be a link to uh, Matt, um, Nate Mac's um, YouTube channel. So you go follow along when you need to add tables or whatnot. Also, to his Discord, you can ask any questions. And my Discord as well. We'll try to help you out the best way we can. So, let's get to the computer and show you what you need in it what it's going to look like when everything's done so after you walk the dog did your taxes comb your hair got made coffee breakfast and whatever else you damn did because it takes forever to to unpack these you'll have two tables well two folders one it's going to say pinball emporium r10 and that again is the main folder if you click into that you'll have a pinball forum table and the other one here where is the whole unit here okay you have that now i'm going to open up another instance of explore um file explorer I'll make it a little bit easier. Go to the drive that I got this in. And then we have this other table here, which is remember the other the other folder is pinball R10 tables. Okay. So now what you need to do is if you're like me, and this is why I'm making the video to make it easier for everybody. Some people just like myself unzip this uh, pinball folder and went to go install everything and try to play and you have no tables that's because you didn't put the tables in there so what I do is I I just open up the folder and then I'm dragging and clicking the information here just to make sure that everything's here and I don't have any duplicates so the other way it had duplicates and and, and I just want to avoid any issues so I'm simp simply just double dragging and clicking this will make it a lot easier at the end of the day so guys let's get started this is where we're at when l let me let me go step back here so when we're here we'll hit the uh, install installer folder and we're gonna hit the install bat and we come to this message now the beautiful thing about Pinball Emporium is that it does all the heavy lifting. We don't have to figure anything out really. So let's go ahead. We'll press one for install. Oh, let me, oh, sorry. Let me nine back. Let me exit out of that. Boom. Let me, let me close out of this. So we'll do one for full install and it's asking me this will remove files registry okay so one 
I'll do one. It's gonna go through its its whole thing. And I'm just getting you to the point where you can see everything because I did an installation once, so it's asking me to delete everything before I do the install. So that's why you won't go through this process. So this is where, once you hit the one to install, this is the point where you'll get it. ask you. <clears throat> it's pinball. FX2 and FX3 been installed. Have you downloaded, installed, and logged these into the Steam? So, what I would do right here before going into this is opening up Steam. Which Steam is open. Let's go ahead and open it. <clears throat> we'll launch Pinball FX. Okay, so uh, we launched that. So we'll go ahead and exit out of it now. This is this is solely for the purpose of the installation that actually you to do that. Can you press enter? Yep, we've done that already. So don't have to worry about that. This is where it actually is you to locate your files so you can. So the way this install works, it actually works with your existing library and everything for Steam. So it will launch Steam for you. So what we'll do is actually go into um, where that's in saved that. So programs in 86, Steam, Steam right there. So we'll drag and click Steam, right? And then enter. And it's asking me for the library. So we got to do the same thing. So I believe library is right here. My library is This is what we need to do is to figure out where the library is. So, go here. I can go to Steam. I can go to library. Steam settings. And we're here. So, my library. downloads steam folder so it says e library so this is where my games are stored it's in my e steam library so that's where i need to drag my folder from let's go that so e folder my library so i'm just going to drag and click library there so know where your library is Sometimes it depends on how you installed your program. Know where your library is and, and just drag and click it. So we'll go ahead and enter there. Now this is essential. It's gonna ask you what libraries, um, not libraries, what, what amount of screens are you working with? So we're doing this on the Legends Pinball, so automatically you're gonna have to, if you've got a uh, independent DMD, you'll do three and vice versa. So we're only doing two because I don't have a DMD. I'll just have a back glass and I have the, um, the play field, so two. Right then, that actually installed back glasses because automatically it doesn't come with back glasses the people in, in pinball emporium provided back glasses so you don't have to go source your own back glasses and stuff like that which is cool so we're gonna hit 
um, continue then it's gonna go with the installation so as of we know it right now we've already we passed pinball Emporium um, pinball FX3 and FX2 now we're going into future pinball so we're gonna go ahead enter it's gonna launch it's telling us it's gonna launch BAM and um, future pinball and then we need to exit it so let's hit enter yes so this is important yeah, again we hit the uh, accept we hit accept now this is vital for this program is asking you where you're saving this stuff um, at and I'm going to show you how so we hit browse we, this is not where we want to be at we're going where we got this installed at. So this is not installed there. We're going to F. That's where I saved it at. You may have yours saved at another location. Just know where you saved it at. That's it. Ah, pinball. Thing, hit that. Pinball 10, hit that. Pinball, hit that and emulators that's where I'm at so I hit okay it's this is where it goes hit next it's saying it's already there that's fine I'll write, let it write over it hit yes hit next we want to create a shortcut yes hit it boom and it does its job let it do its job And it's gonna launch it. That's fine. We wanted to launch it, so let it kick. Boom. It does it. It pulls up. This is the launcher. Nothing comes up, but that's fine. We want to make sure that it works. We exit out of this. Then we'll hit continue. Enter, and then we'll hit it. And then it, now it's launching an actual table. So let it go ahead and launch it. Boom, we're in business. It launches. Let's exit out of this. This actually did it did it run and exit? Yes. We hit enter. We hit yes. This is registry. We need this to register. So we hit yes. Then we hit yes again. Then we hit OK. Boom. Future pinball is done. We hit enter. Now we go on to visual pinball. Enter. Read this. It's telling you that they're going to install it. Um, direct X is going to be installed into. It does have a check mark automatically on the Bing toolbar. We don't want that. He lets you know you know you don't have to, but uncheck it. So we're okay with that. We're going to hit enter. And similar thing we, we did with. Um, Future promo, what we're gonna do with this, we gotta locate where this is at and make sure that we do it right. So this is not where we wanna be. So we're gonna minimize that and we're gonna go into it's an F drive for me. You may have yours on the C drive. Go where your where your whatever drive you use to install it, put it there. So see, I open this, I don't want to open it. I want to leave it closed. I want it to be highlighted. I want it to be in emulators, but I want it to go this way so it can put it where it's supposed to be. Make sure this is checked on top. Hit install. And let it do its magic. We're not doing anything on our end. It's doing everything for us. I hit accept, I hit next, right here, this is what he was talking about, install the bing bar, we don't want that, hit next, it's 
inst installing components and initializing. So it's gonna do its thing. We don't really do anything. It's finished. It's finished. Then this goes. Since this has been installed before, it's not telling me that I have to install anything. So we'll just hit close. That's the only thing that you can hit. Yours may say hit continue, hit continue. It will finish up the process. It asks is, do you have a second monitor for ballet class? Since you're on the Legends pinball, then of course you're gonna hit yes. Everything is fine, hit okay. This we don't have to worry about, we just exit out. We click finish. Boom. It's gonna ask me to run. So we're gonna hit enter so it could run. And basically the same thing that we did for future is gonna be for this one. I hit the latest one, we're gonna hit okay. Now see, it doesn't, it doesn't let you highlight it. It doesn't let you go to the thing. So what you're gonna do here is just hit the enter button. And the same thing, it's not gonna let you do it. Just hit the enter button. Hit it okay again. And then let's go here. Changing the view so you can see everything. So right now, it launched both the playfield, and the playfield is not in the right order because we haven't done the display portion yet, and it launches the back class. This is just to show you that the program is working, and they wanted to verify that. So what we're going to do is exit out of this, and go back to my other monitor so you can see everything. Okay, we're good. We're just gonna hit enter. We gotta hit yes for the registry. We're doing the same thing again. This is just for the other program. And they're finished, so then we hit enter. We do pin up, pin up player install, okay. Yes. Yes. Hit enter. Boom. So now this is vital for you as well. This one is asking two things. Do you want it to automatically load for you on your Pin, uh, on your Legends Pinball, or do you want to bring up the menu and then you do it? Uh, I would say you want to do it yourself because Legends Pinball can be very finicky. If you don't have your black glass set up and your f front monitor working, your computer may switch screens. You don't want that to happen because then you get your whole program out of whack. So what I recommend is to do three. Three will just install everything, bring, give you the icons, and you just have to load it yourself. So I'm gonna do that. So we're gonna hit three. You know, we're gonna enter to continue. So, here's the next thing. Make sure you do this correctly. We're doing this for the Legends Pinball. So, if we're doing that for the Legends Pinball, we're going to select C. Select C for cabinet mode. And again, now we're at the point where it says, it's, do, you, um, we, do you need help determining your display? Now, you might think you don't. 
take that thought process out of here. You want them to do this because what your computer may think one is two and two is one and the program thinks otherwise, you have to go what the program thinks, not what your computer thinks. So we'll hit yet Y for yes and then enter. And then here it asks you, which one do you want to test out first? So we'll hit one, test out which one is one. Hit yes, hit the enter, hit enter. So one is my play field. Okay, so that's the big boy. So that worked. Exit out of there. And now I'm going to change the camera view so you can see what happens on the next go around. So in here, it's going to be hard to see, but I'm going to hit two, right? I'm going to hit two so I could do two. So this should work on the other monitor and you'll see that in the secondary shot. I'm going to hit yes, yes again. And now we know that's two. So I'll exit out of that. I'll switch the camera angle so you could see me in regular. See it regular, okay. Then we're going to hit D for done, since we now we know what monitors are what. Okay. So, then it says, how many monitors are working? Two are working. Hit the two. Boom. So, then it takes you to this screen here. Let me go back so you can see that. It takes you to this screen. Um, and it kind of like this, the way you would have normally did it, but we don't need to do that. So we're just going to exit out of there, right? Go back to the other screen. So there's that. Then it asks you. Hit enter. Oh, enter, we gotta get it. Okay. So here is the last step. I'm going to do the 1920, which those, the way you should do it on your um, computer monitor. It's the same way you're doing it for the Legends Pinball. So 1920. What? 1080. 1080. That's one. Same thing. 1920. 1080. So you're going to do it exactly the same way that I'm doing it right now. Hit enter. This is two. Is the correct information? Yes. I want to do it for all. Now it's doing what it's supposed to do on all the files. Enter. Hit yes. Yes. Okay. So we're here and it's going to access the final line. So we're going to hit yes. We're going to highlight from here all the way down control copy minimize that go to the bottom of this enter control V control S exit hit this enter enter now it should work. So it's on the screens the way it's supposed to be. One's the black glass, the other the play field. 
and we're in business, right? So we'll exit out of it. We're gonna hit yes. Yes, it showed correctly. Enter. Now because we hit yes that it did that, it is putting everything in confirmation. So did it do it for all? Yes. We hit zero to exit. It finishes the copying it and we're good to go. It's almost done. We are done, so we're gonna hit zero for exit. Display mode has finished. Enter nine to exit. And we're out, we're out in the clear. So what we're gonna do right here is a test, just so you can see it up and running. We're I'm just gonna drag and click it right here so I can always have it when I'm ready. Double click it. That means you're running. You're where you're supposed to be. Beautiful, right? And it just works. Table loading. It loads. And here you go. Exit out of here. So guys, that's pretty much it. You are up and running on your Legends Pinball using Pinball Emporium. If you follow these steps for the installation, you won't have any problems. Also, to note, when you're before you start it, you want to do one last thing. And let me just show you that. Go back to our camera here. You're going to want to open up your FX your controller thing so mine is up right here and you have you, the one that you have with pinball effects let me go ahead let me exit out of here the one you have with them you'll have set up and that's pretty much it you want to make sure that you have this up and running so you can play um, if you don't, if this is not working, if the button configuration doesn't work, um, you can always edit this. I'll s s put a link to um, Nate uh, showing you how to uh, configure Joy to Key. It's quite simple. Um, I'm not going to do it on this video because this video is far too long as it is. So, there's that have that running in the background that has to be running in the background so your configuration for your control panel will work correctly okay with that being said guys um, it should be pretty much cut and dry after that um, if you have any questions or concerns definitely reach out to the discord below for pinball emporium they are very helpful guys they'll help you out um, you can ask a question in the comment question. If I know it, I'll give you the answer. Or if not, I'll point you in the right direction. That's what I'm here for. Well, guys, 
you know, if you like this content and you want to follow along with the series, then there's going to be other things like settings and how to add tables, all that good, that jazz. This is what you do right now. First of all, give us a like so we can get it out to the masses. Hit that subscribe button because it really means a lot to me and the channel. And hit the bell notification so when the videos do drop, you'll be the first to know. Because no one is half the battle. Anyway, guys, thank you for stopping by. And as always, keep gaming. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Laters.